Good day to everybody today. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a fantastic morning or evening or whenever it is you're watching this. We're going to go for a little bike ride today. See if we can't get some doctor prescribed exercise. Get a little give this old arthritic knee a workout. It's one of them days today. Feels like you're gonna lose a knee or an elbow or something. <laughs> the older folks, well, you know what I'm talking about. It's one of them days. But we're gonna get out here, we're gonna push through it. We're gonna make it happen, Kevin. So, it's uh, actually evening kind of later in the day today and we're going for this ride usually i try to do it first thing in the morning but that's know how it is life pops up and sometimes you gotta wait a little longer we're not always able to do things exactly what we want to do it, but that'll be just fine we'll compare this gopro footage see if the gopro actually liked it under a little bit different lighting conditions. It's a beautiful day here in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's about 60 degrees. It's getting more and more and more like spring every day. Thank the good Lord above. Ah, don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready for this winter to be over. So is my joints. <laughs> Every joint I have is ready for winter to be over. That's one thing we can all agree on. So I was looking on the analytics on the channel and a lot of people uh, that watch are older gentlemen. A lot of y'all retired like me. probably thinking about getting you an e-bike wondering what kind would be best for you you know considering the possibility and uh i would highly encourage it. um like a lot of you i was i was reluctant to spend uh, a good amount of money on something i wasn't sure you know if uh I'd really be able to appreciate it, you know, or how, even how it would uh, do, you know, because I'm not in, don't make the mistake of thinking I'm one of these you know, people out here in fantastic shape, that is absolutely not me, you know, I spent the last couple of years laid up after a Harley wreck, wouldn't able to do anything, so. I'm coming from straight couch potato posture, as it was. You know. So, if I can do it, then you can do it. I know a lot of you guys uh, had surgeries and things yourself. Maybe joints, knee replacements and such. Um, good thing about these, these e-bikes one good thing is it's kind of like a mixture between a uh, electric motorcycle and a bicycle so if uh and this one even a dirt bike and a bicycle you know it would be more like it but you can let's say you get out here and you're like okay i can't really handle it today my knee or whatever is just giving it to you and you can push a button you could just go for a good relaxing stroll uh, you don't necessarily need to paddle i mean your range will be reduced to what 30 miles you know that's still pretty good and even the paddling these things have uh this avington adventure 2 that i have has what they call like pedal assist you know, so 
like if I've got multiple settings here I can put it on economy which will get the best uh, battery life you know and it'll offer the least amount of assistance I can go up to touring a little bit better go to sport mode a little bit better and turbo if I'm going up a giant hill you know but if you just leave it in tour, I mean, that's pretty good for me. You know, I'm not in no great hurry. I have no desire to try to do 28, 30 miles an hour. You know, I'm trying to get some exercise. I ain't trying to kill myself getting it. You know, that's the way I assume a lot of you guys are too. You'd like to get back in or maintain your health. And that's my main my main motivation to see if I can bring that cholesterol down and eat a little eat a few <laughs> a few fewer cheeseburgers and drink some water a little less of everything else and see if we can't get back to being healthier see how good a shape we can get back in I like to See if I can get back to being as fit as I once was. That would be, I think that would be a stretch, but. We got big, we'll have big goals nonetheless. Might as well aim for large things. And all right, fellas, and that'll be it for part one. I'll see you tomorrow in part two. Peace.